Have you ever noticed that the more activity that's going on in the newspapers and on the boxes with moving pictures and everywhere that's not this, the more stuff that's happening in these news realms, the less stuff is actually happening in the so-called external. It's an interesting phenomenon. Phenomenon. But it just shows you where the energy is going. The energy is going into the net. <laughs> it's going into the internet, into the interwebs. Being sucked out of the populace and it's going into Alice or whoever, whatever this sort of machine is. It's very interesting. Because I'm always on the lookout externally to see if something ever happens. And it never has. <laughs> Nothing has ever happened externally here. And I kind of don't expect that I ever will, but possibly something could happen out there. I don't suppose it really matters. But all of the intelligent, coherent, respectful, that's a big one, isn't it? Respectful dialogues are occurring inside of the machine, not person to person. It happens, it just doesn't happen a lot. valuable to have open honest discourse and even have disagreements of course it's good to be able to have disagreements no stance should ever think that it can exist without scrutiny That's how ideas become, that's how they become strong, is they become scrutinized. And if they are uh, inherently faulty in some manner, then they don't exist anymore. Or at least that's the general. That's how you would think it ought to work. breaks. If they were a faulty idea, and people found that it was much nicer to scream around smashing into everything overall, then breaks wouldn't be around anymore. Of course, if you still have irrationality and emotional pullings and pushings to spice up the mix, but generally speaking, something is around because it's around. <laughs> it's a, the, yes, it's some sort of a tautology, but it is what it is. If a thought form or a construct is around, it means it has some sort of power, and it may not be overt power, it may not be visible power, you may not be able to trace why this thing is sticking around, at least at first blush, but at some point, everything becomes apparent, and there is, there is logic.
logic and reasoning behind most of what you see with your eyeballs. The thing is, is that the situation is complex and given that reality uh, seems to be more like a sci-fi novel in actuality than hard, hard like physical object reality, Newtonian universe model. Then, uh, it's not as set in stone as people would like to imagine. All of our words, you know, they're really silly. All of the insults that we use, just look into the insults. Every single one of them, 90% of them are anatomy. It's anatomy from the human body used in a degrading manner. All of them. So the mind is just picking up like a thing out there that it ha that has been deemed gross or yucky or whatever, untasteful, and then it hurls it at somebody else. Even though the thing that they're hurling uh, <laughs> has some very practical purpose and uh, is very much neutral in what it does, still our our polarity possibilities of overlaying every single object with a value structure and it's good or it's bad or it's ugly or it's pretty or it's this or that or the other thing, all these adjectives, then it perceptually becomes outside of that neutral zone and then you can throw it. <laughs> throwing poop. You're throwing poop. You're throwing mental poop at each other. And these things become more and more refined as you get into more and more subtle mind and you can still throw subtle poop. <laughs> it's still at the end of the day, if you're arguing with somebody, you're still throwing poop at each other. Yes, it's upgraded and maybe it's synthetic poop and maybe it's digitized poop, you know. Still poop. <laughs> you're still throwing bits of fecal matter like monkeys. And that's just how it is. Not everybody's like that, you know, some people keep their poop refined to a level that they don't even know that they're throwing refined poop. Either way. If you're, if you're like, taking a defensive stance, you're throwing poop. It's all thought forms. You're always defending some sort of thought form. Whether it's material thought form or mental thought form. You're defending some sort of construct. That's what we do here. There's nothing else that you are doing. Other than that, you're simply spirit and you're unmanifest and you are the zero point, but you got a body, so, <laughs> you yeah. know. Do something with it. Throw poop. Poop throwing is acceptable. It's just like there's a nice way to do it. There's a... <laughs> just refine your poop throwing mechanism. You know. Anyway. <laughs> Peace.